Okay, everyone, here's the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now I'm going to show you guys a bit of the new design that Apple has added to this new iPod Touch. Now on the top, you have your on button, which they mo moved to the right side that the old iPod Touch was on the left side. Here are your volume buttons. As you can see, now they're separated, which is um, pretty nice. Over here, you have your speaker, your charging port, and your headset port, or whatever that, that's called. Here you have your home button. On the top, you have your front-facing camera, which is standard quality. It's used to do FaceTime on your iPod Touch, a new feature that they've added to this um, new iPod Touch. It's a very nice feature. I've used it a few times. Uh, it's actually better than Skype, I must say that. Okay, now let me get this thing up and running for you. Okay, now we slide to unlock. And as you can see, um, the new Retina display really makes the um, the whole iPod Touch look a lot much much better. All the applications, it makes it look um, a lot more clear and better. Also, the web browsing experience is a lot um, more sharper with this with the new Retina display that they've added. And here's your FaceTime application. As you can see, you have all your contacts. You can do FaceTime with them. Now, I don't really want to call any of them because I didn't really set up a fa uh, FaceTime call. If, if, I, if I would have known I was doing this review, I would I would have set up some sort of FaceTime call. But I just want to show you um, how good this Retina display is by showing you a few pictures that are um, that use Retina display. Now, here's one picture. As you can see, it's a lot clearer than um, the old iPod Touch with its pictures and all that other stuff. See, it's a lot more precise. In the old iPod Touch um, um, 3G. Now here's another picture. I don't really want to show you that one. Here's this other one. As you can see, you can really understand the light spot and the dark spot. You can really get that feeling. It's a really, I really like this Retina display that they've added. Here are a few pictures that I, uh, that I took, so you can um, see about um, the camera that they've added to this iPod Touch. It's an HD camera. You can shoot HD photos and HD video. And on this side, you have your mic that's over here. I'm going to show you a few pictures. You can view them in portrait mode or even in landscape mode. Uh, I prefer portrait mode for, the, for this picture. You can see it's a pretty good quality camera. It's not as good as the iPhone 4, but still pretty decent. And there are some um, old videos that I took. And here's a picture that I can put in landscape mode and show you. See? Very nice. Very precise that it has with this new retina display. Well, anyway. Um, here's the camera. I'm going to show you the camera for a bit now. Here's your camera in the back. I'm going to show you the front-facing camera, what it looks like. Yeah, there I am. So you can see, pretty decent camera. Not the best camera in the world. Now, um, this device has a 4.1, is running on the new um, Apple 4.1 firmware. And it has a, uh, a 3.5 inch screen. And now the cost of this thing, it's a bit expensive. Um, the 8 gigabyte is $230. And the um, 32 gigabyte is um, $300. And the 64 gigabyte is $400. Personally, I would go with the um, 32 gigabyte because it's only about um, it's not really that much more than the 8 gigabyte, and plus you get a lot more um, storage. As you can see, I kind of got went a little bit crazy with the apps. I have 180 apps on this iPod Touch, and um, it also has a new feature that calls that's called text speech. Well, it's not really a new feature that Apple has added, but some apps can support um, text speech. Like this Google app, for instance. I just wanted to show you this um, nice little application that I found. Well, let's say if I um, say a word to it, and it will search for it. Let's see. Oh wait, I have to. You have to be connected to Wi-Fi to do that. Let me connect here. Your. I just wanted to show you here your settings. You have a wallpaper application that the other iPod Touch did not have. You could add um, any any um, wallpapers from your um, from your. Um, pictures that you took or even um, Apple also provides you with some wallpapers that they have added to this iPod touch then there's um, the lock screen um, um, wallpaper which is also a very nice feature as you can see here you have all your settings for all your different applications 
Now I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi mode. I'm going to... Oh, wait. I can't get Wi-Fi here. Oh, anyway. As uh, you see, it's a lot it's a lot better than the old iPod Touch. If you if you have an old iPod Touch, I wouldn't really recommend buying this because it is a uh, um it is it is kind of expensive just to upgrade, but if if you want FaceTime and all that stuff like that, um it's still it's still a pretty a pretty decent device. I real I really like this iPod Touch. I would really recommend it to anyone who doesn't have an iPod Touch yet and is looking for getting getting one um um this Christmas or something like that. I'd really make, recommend this iPod Touch. It has a lot of new features that Apple has added, and I really must, I'm really i really enjoying it. I've had it for about two months now. I don't have any complaints about it. And it's very nice. It runs very smoothly. Also, with YouTube videos, it's um, really nice with the new Retina display that they've added, watching videos, um, watching movies on it. It's a really nice experience, and I really will recommend this to anyone who um, is looking for an iPod Touch and hasn't got one yet. Well, that's all for this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.